Hi, Holy Weekers. I hope you all are doing really well. The project that we are going to be working on today is an altar of repose. So usually during a normal Holy Week, after the Chrism Mass, Holy Thursday night is <clears throat> when the priest takes the Eucharist and they have a special separate altar that is set up and that is where they put the Eucharist for all night adoration. Now this year, of course, we cannot do this. So what I'm inviting you all to do as your family project today is to make your own altar of repose. So choose a space in your house, maybe in a living room or in the dining room, something that's in a central area that everybody can access easily. Pick a space in your house and get a little table um, or maybe if you even want to make a big sacrifice, put um, a sheet or a big cloth over your TV and have um, your altar of repose be in front of your TV so that it's kind of a silent and sacred space for the Triduum. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your own altar of repose. And the beautiful thing about this is it's very customizable. So um, anything that is... Um, important or beautiful to you and your family that will help you pray is what you can put on the altar. So just as some suggestions, um, if you have a purple um, tablecloth, you can go ahead and put over the altar to um, be of the Lenten season. Um, flowers, anything to make it look like um, it's in a garden like Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, an image, perhaps, of Jesus on the cross, maybe a crucifix, or um, if you have an icon of anything in the Triduum um, of the Stations of the Cross or the Last Supper, anything like that. Um, or if you have images of Mary that you want to put on. And then this is also a beautiful time for um, maybe uh, kid, children in the family to make something that we call like a prayer card um, where they can write out a Bible quote or um, something that is beautiful and that's reminiscent of the Triduum. So I invite you to make your own altar repose and keep that up through um, the resurrection so that you can have a sacred space in your home to go to pray.